possibly late, but I forgive you. One authentic New York style cheesecake as per your request. And let me tell you, it was one hell of a chase. Thank you, RJ. I'll make it worth your while. As you can see, my husband is still detained. But I know he's really going to appreciate this when he gets here. So, everything's okay? That kind of depends on whose version of the events you choose to accept. Heard about the plane? Yes. According to my doom and gloom nieces, and of course my dear friend, Vicky, Mel was on that plane. But, but you don't believe that? Of course not. No. My husband's on his way home to me. Well, if there's one thing I know about Mel, if he can do it, he will. He's tenacious and stubborn. <laughs> Unlike you. One of the reasons we fell in love, our similarities. That plus your differences. Okay, our marriage is a balancing act, and more often than not, one of us ends up on the map. Well, that sounds like a successful marriage to me. Hmm. When my husband takes a stand based on his own particular code of ethics, you can argue with him until you're blue in the face. And I often do. <laughs> he must love you in blue. Apparently. <laughs> of course, one place where things never fail to get resolved is in bed. Yeah. There, things are pretty amazing between us. So I heard. I mean, no details, mind you. Just by inference and the gleam in his eye. Know how we met? Uh, in D.C. He was drunk as a skunk and fell on top of the bridge. <laughs> he never knew what hit him. If Mel was on that plane, he is probably giving directions to the other survivors who are waiting to be rescued and furiously making notes for an article he's going to write about his experience. I can see Mel doing that. Oh, God help us. <laughs> if that man wins another Pulitzer Prize, forget it. He's going to be insufferable. <laughs> well, I'm sure you... you could keep him in line. I couldn't keep him from getting on that plane. Oh, 